Good morning, folks. We probably didn't need Yale to tell us this about most people, but it's not about what they know, it's about what those around them tell them. Hashtag think for yourself, people. Every time I talk about Syria, I'm called a New World Order agent, but damn, folks, these aren't fake dead kids. This article details the aftermath of the Permian extinction, remember that was most likely caused by methane release, and we have an interesting article on the quantum physics of photosynthesis. Subtropical barrel spinning off the Florida coast here, and right about now, it gets upgraded to an official tropical storm. Landfall has occurred, the damage reports are already coming in. Quakes aren't unusual in this general area, but the specific locale of this quake is normally quiet. We had a 6.4 in Argentina this morning, which the USGS actually claims is a 6.7, and it was one of those global ringers pulling up lists you will see almost every seismogram register it. Cosmic rays are slightly elevated this morning, even without a gamma ray burst or waning particle flux. This here is a great learning opportunity for those who use the terms solar flare and CME interchangeably. The flare is the X-ray radiation and the CME is the ejected particles. You might remember a few weeks back we had multiple M flares without a single CME. It can happen with X flares too. Well the opposite is true as well and that's what happened yesterday when a long duration C flare blasted out a highly relevant CME. Possibly the largest I've ever seen from a C flare of this low a magnitude. Forecast track does show a possible glancing blow to earth in the next 48 hours. Having a look at the active regions that pop that off, although they look complex, look how nicely divided the red and blue areas are now. No gamma or delta class here, simple beta. For those who are wondering when the sun goes quadrupolar, which is not a real word by the way, you see the blue spots lead the way on the south and the red leads the rear. The opposite is true on the north. Uh, I know that region on the far right looks like it's flipped, but that yellow and red above it is actually part of the same region and does lead the way. When the sun's poles do eventually flip, this pattern will degrade severely, but we are still waiting. Mercury swung in and then swung back out again. When the sun goes down tonight, and I'll quickly turn off the atmosphere so you remember what's near the sun, a beautiful sight can be seen at twilight as the moon dances with Mars in the evening sky. Just a few days later as we close out May, the moon is near Saturn. Mercury and Venus will have been moving in to conjoin on June 1st, and as Venus creeps in a little bit more, the moon is full, but you won't see it all due to a lunar eclipse one day before Venus crosses right in front of the sun. Here's where you can see it. That's the news, folks. Be safe.